Hey there, viewers. Personal question. You ready? Have you been losing hair lately? You can start losing your hair as early as your teens. Believe it or not, you may be losing hair without even realizing it. Let's talk about seven ways to tell if you're losing too much hair. Is there hair in your shower drain? Does it come out in clumps when you pull on it? Are there random bald patches on your scalp? Wait, hair on my pillow? No thank you. We're talking all that and more. Let's go. Number one, hair on your pillow. That's right, one of the more subtle ways of noticing hair loss is finding it on your pillow. This usually happens in the morning after you wake up. Now, don't get me wrong, it's normal to find a few strands of hair on your pillow, so I wouldn't get scared over five or so. But if it's more than 15, you're probably beginning to lose some hair. Pillowcases are known to absorb moisture from your scalp. This will leave your hair dry and dead. This leaves it in a vulnerable state where it can start to fall out. Now, before you start knocking over shelves at your local drugstore, looking for the Rogaine section, take a breath. This doesn't mean you're going bald yet. It takes an average male between 15 to 25 years to go fully bald. You're just going through a natural phase of life. If you'd like to give your hair a chance, switch from a cotton pillow to a silk or satin one. These materials help you retain moisture in your hair. You can also change your pillow cover a lot more frequently. This gets rid of bacteria that has collected. What kind of pillow do you use? Is it comfortable? Have you been finding hair on it? Sound off in the comment section and start a conversation with our bestie community. Number two, how wide is your part? This one's really important to discovering hair loss. You know that area of your head where your hair parts? It's located down the middle of your scalp. When you're younger, the part in your hair is something you're proud of. With just the run of a comb or brush, it can be styled countless ways. But as we age, our part widens. Your scalp becomes much more visible. If kept unclean, it'll almost look like you have random bald patches throughout your head. This is a major sign of hair loss. Both males and females will experience this. Because a man's hair is generally shorter, it's harder for them to hide a widening hair part. As time goes by, this usually results in the signature old age comb over. Number three, bald patches. Let's expand on what I said a minute ago. If your hair is in rough shape, it will look like you have random bald spots on your head. This can be a sign of alopecia areata. Alopecia is a condition that causes hair to fall out in small patches. While it's usually noticeable at first, the patches will grow larger over time to the point where they're almost impossible to ignore. Bald spots don't have to be that dramatic though. You might start noticing a bald patch on the crown of your head. It will also appear in the form of a receding hairline. Most balding men will start noticing a classic M shape in the front of their heads. This probably means your hair is thinning. Of course, this is one of the earliest signs and sometimes takes many years to start really showing. Remember a second ago when I mentioned Rogaine? Well, if you're a man who's been noticing baldness creeping in, there's no harm in trying it. Also known as minoxidil, Rogaine slows down hair loss by stimulating follicles. Keep in mind, this product isn't always effective. If you do see results, they usually take about a year or so to become visible. Before we continue, are you trying to get in shape? Well, you need to switch up your diet first. Check out our recent video discussing 10 great foods that naturally cleanse your body. Now back to our list of seven signs you're losing too much hair. Number four, hair in the drain. Most people go through life not thinking about this. That is, until it happens to you. Hair in the drain is one of the more alarming ways to find out you're going bald. You turn off your shower to notice a clump of hair that's accumulated by the drain. Now, don't get me wrong, similar to your pillow, it's normal to lose a bit of hair. Let me put it to you this way. The average person will lose about 50 to 100 hairs a day. The thinner your hair is naturally, the less you will shed. A person with longer and thicker hair will lose almost twice that of a shorter haired person. This means about 150 to 200 hairs daily. People with dirty hair are more likely to shed because of all the buildup on their scalp. Weirdly enough, one of the ways to reduce your shedding is to cut back on the shampoo. It's recommended that you wash your hair one to three times a week. And when it comes to blow drying, you're gonna wanna cool it. Literally, heat is bad for sensitive hair follicles. If you can style it without using curlers or a flat iron, do it. You should also be careful of the comb you're using. Actually, this brings me to my next sign of hair loss. Number five, too much hair in your brush. You've heard about it time and time again. A person runs their brush through their hair to find a giant clump sitting in the bristles. This is how my dad found out he was going bald. Now the hair in your brush is normal. It collects over time. If you're dating somebody to find zero hairs in their brush, they either just bought it or they're an insane neat freak. One of the best ways to confirm whether or not you're losing hair is to try and experiment with your brush. It's been done as a part of various studies on hair loss. 
Run it through your scalp for no longer than 60 seconds. When that's over, count the number of hairs that have come out. It's said that if less than 10 hairs come out each time, your scalp is probably normal. But if it's more than that, you're beginning to lose hair. Now, I'm not gonna tell you to stop brushing. You want your hair to look presentable, balding or not. But if you're using a comb to take care of things, I suggest you use a certain kind. Wide tooth combs are much better for your hair than small tooth combs. A small tooth one is too hard on your locks and will only result in more hair being pulled out. Number six, your ponytail isn't as thick. This one's mainly for women, although it can also apply to some men. As you get older, a ponytail isn't just a way to style your hair. It also serves as an indicator of your hair's health. One of the things you should look out for is your hair's thickness. If you're noticing that your ponytail has gotten increasingly thinner, you're probably losing some hair. This goes back to the widening of the part in your scalp. When your hair gets thinner, the density drops dramatically. You'll see this change come out in your ponytail. Let's talk about DHT for a second. This is a hormone many people are predisposed to. For people experiencing pattern hair loss, DHT will gather around the top of their scalp. From here, it will bind with the hair follicles, making them weaker and eventually destroying them. Over time, your ponytail will get smaller and smaller. It will be to the point where it doesn't even look like much of a ponytail anymore. I know it sounds alarming, but it's actually pretty natural. If you see an older person with a thick, healthy ponytail, ask them what their secret is. Number seven, hair comes out when you pull on it. I know, this one sounds a little weird. Most people don't really consider pulling on their own hair. This is a quick and efficient way to find out if you're losing hair. Grab the hair on top of your head. Ideally, you'll be grabbing about 60 hairs. When you're ready, pull on them. Do it gently, you don't need to hurt yourself. Of course, some hairs are gonna come out when you pull it hard. If you pull gently and the follicles still come out, you may be losing hair. If you're losing the right amount of hair, no more than three follicles should come out. Your hair and scalp are tricky things. There are several things you can do to keep your hair healthy. Have I sparked your interest? Let's keep the conversation going with a few more videos, shall we? Check out our recent video on 13 ways to regrow your hair naturally and forget about bald spots. Or how about 13 proven ways to get thicker hair in 30 days? Go ahead and click one, or better yet, watch both. Find out more about how to keep your hair healthy. Have you experienced any of these hair loss signs? Let us know in the comments below.